Hello everyone, I am Dr. Scott Bland. If you have clicked this video because you think that you have had an HIV exposure in the last 72 hours, I'm gonna do something people on YouTube don't do very often. I'm gonna tell you to stop watching YouTube. Immediately, turn it off, go straight to a physician and talk to them about the potential of starting PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis. If you have an exposure and you start PEP within 72 hours of that exposure, your odds of getting HIV reduce dramatically. So please, if you, if you think you've just had an exposure, you need to turn off the YouTube, you need to go straight to a physician, and you need to talk to them about taking PEP. If you think your exposure was more than three months ago, then it's probably time to start talking about getting an HIV test. We're gonna do that right now. There's a home HIV test that you can take without a doctor, without any blood. We're gonna get at it. Okay, so this is the AuraQuick HIV test. This is an at-home, does not require a doctor's prescription saliva test for HIV. We're gonna open it up and get started. So one of the important things that you need to remember when you take this test is that you cannot eat, drink, brush your teeth, do anything that's gonna change your saliva for 30 minutes before the test. This test only works if your exposure was more than three months ago. So waiting that extra 30 minutes is not a big deal. Just make sure you get accurate tests, so follow all the instructions. So when you pop this open here, you're gonna read all the instructions. Now, I've already kind of been through these, so I'm gonna go through them a little faster. You wanna read every word, please, okay? Remember, you wanna know what's going on with this. Okay, after you've read all the instructions, and again, read all the instructions, we're gonna get started. So you're gonna open this drawer here on the bottom and you're gonna find your two packets, okay? You're gonna start with the test tube and you'll open this packet up, the test tube. Now there is liquid in here. You have to make sure you do not spill this. You're not twisting this cap. You're trying to pop it off. Do not spill this. Do not drink this. That is not part of the test, okay? You're gonna pop this cap off. Once that's off, you insert that here in the test kit. Then we're gonna go to the test stick. It's very important that you don't touch the actual testing portion here with your, with your fingers. So make sure you open it up from here and be careful with it. Do not touch this part. Don't stick this in the fluid before you put it through your mouth. You're gonna do one swipe across your top gum, one swipe across your bottom gum. You're not flossing here, you're not waving it all around your mouth, just one swipe each. Okay, now you're gonna put it in the test solution with the window facing out. Now, you're gonna wait for 20 minutes to get your results. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Now it's time to look at our results. You're gonna see two spaces for lines. You're gonna see a C and a T. The C is the, the control section of it. You should see a line there. That means that the sample actually took. Um, if you see two lines, even if the second line is faded, that is an indication that this is probably a positive test and you need to go see a physician for a confirming test. Okay, so with an HIV test, there's gonna be a lot of emotions involved. If this comes back positive, please make sure that you talk through how you're coping with this psychologically with your physician when you go to see them, okay? If at any point you're feeling unsafe, please call the suicide hotline and talk to a counselor and let them talk you through it because this is not something that you have to make a drastic decision over. This is often very, very treatable and you do matter and we want you to find the safety and the support that you need. If you find for some reason this comes back negative, I don't want you to start feeling emotionally that that means that you can start being unsafe again because you'll just expose yourself to more risk, okay? So this is not an excuse to not do the safety things that we all need to do. You should use barrier protection if you're having sex. You should not share needles. And you should be getting your screenings regularly if you're being sexually active. So please check in with your physician. Understand that this test does not track pregnancy. This test does not track other sexually transmitted diseases. And it is important that you check in with physicians so that they can try and keep you safe. Please do the things that keep you safe out there. Let's all work on stopping HIV together. Thank you very much.